Hello everybody. Today I will be showing you the basic stitching of a African pondu stitch. This pondu stitch is a beautiful stitch. This is a flat stitch to make um, necklaces or bracelets. It usually looks beautiful as a bracelet or an anklet. You can make it thicker, more thicker or um, smaller. It's up to you. In my first tutorial on African Pondu stitch, I will be showing you the basic stitch. In the next two tutorials, I will show you how to use multiple colors in the Pondu stitch as well as um, how to decrease the amount or how to make it just in one line. So, um, the list of materials you will need in order to make one bracelet on African Pondu stitch is three different colors of seed beads in size 8. You can always use a smaller size seed beads. In most cases you must have seen people using a smaller size seed beads to do the connection part in your Pondu stitch but I am not in far of that. I like my mm, work to be in just one size so that it leaves a beautiful gap in between the stitches so that it's more um, um, discriminated uh, or it's more beautiful to look at so if you don't like this you could always use a smaller size seed beads but I would highly recommend you use uh, the same size seed because it gives you a beautiful result so for the tutorial sake I will be using a pink luster seed bead in size 8 a brown luster in size 8 and a white luster in size 8. In addition to that, you will also need a size 10 beading needle, fire line and a pair of scissors. At the end of the video, I will also show you how to end your bracelet using a box clasp. My bracelet is 7 inches long because my wrist is 6.5. If you have a bigger or a smaller wrist, you could always change the side of your, size of your bracelet. So let's get started with the ponder stitch. Before starting, I would like to tell you, the pink seed beads here are going to be my main color. Then the brown seed beads are going to be the connecting beads. And the white seed beads are only going to be the outside color or the peacoat color. So let's get started by picking up four pink seed beads. Drop them down to the end of your thread, leaving a ample amount of thread. Go through the two pink seed beads, forming a square. Come out of the two seed beads and up through the first two in the same way so that my work is secure. Pick up a brown seed bead and three of the white seed beads. Now drop these down. You will have this. Now Holding on to your piece together, I'll go through the brown seed bead and also the next two pink seed beads. What we're doing is we came, we were only coming out of these two seed beads. Going through the brown seed beads in this direction connects the brown seed bead to the both sides. So I will be dropping them down and pulling tight so that I form a peak coat over here. So this is the starting point of my bracelet. I will just turn my work in this way. So this is the starting point. We will be always working in this direction from here to here. Okay. I'll pick up a brown seed bead because this is my connecting bead and four of my pink seed beads. Drop them down. Holding your piece in this way, I'll go through, and my thread is coming out of here, I'll go through the first two pink seed beads, only the first two, so that I have now formed this. I'll pick up a brown seed bead, four of my pink seed beads, drop them down. 
I'll go through these two pink seed beads. So that again, I have this. So this is the length that I want for my bracelet. If you want a bigger or a thicker bracelet, you could go three more times or two more times in order to make it. So at this point here, we will also make a picot over here. So I'll pick up a brown seed bead and three of my white seed beads. I'll drop them down to the end of my thread. If you notice here, my brown seed bead is only connected to one side of my pink seed bead. I also need to connect it to the other side. So I'll go through the brown seed bead leaving all the white seed beads just the way they are and I will go through these two pink seed beads and pull my work. See this is what I have. Now I need to connect all of the brown seed beads or the two next brown seed beads to the other sides as well because the top the top and the ends brown seed beads are already connected to the two sides of my pink seed beads. I only need to connect these two middle seed beads. So I will be going through the brown seed bead in this way and also the next two pink seed beads and I'll pull tight. Again, I'm going to connect this one to these two sides. So I'll go through the brown seed bead and only one of my pink seed beads. So this is what your first step in the ponder stitch will look like. Always when we are going up in this way, it's difficult. When we are coming down in this way, it's really easy. And when we are connecting the brown seed beads to the two sides of our pink seed beads, we always focus that the, pink, the, the brown seed bead or the middle color will be connected to both sides of your pink seed beads. So here it's connected to these two, here it's connected to these two, and here also it's connected to these two. When we are coming down, we are always going to come down here in the first pink seed bead on the right. We will be working our way through in this direction. We'll go through these beads all over again. We'll go up, form a picot over here, and then while we are coming down, we will be joining in the middle colors with the pink seed beads. You will understand what I'm saying right now. My thread is coming out of this pink seed bead on the right. What I will be doing is, I will be picking up a brown seed bead, a pink seed bead, and a brown seed bead okay I'll also pick up three of my white seed beads just drop them down so that they lie next to each other in this way leaving my white seed beads I will go through the brown the pink and the brown holding my piece together I'll pull tight so that I have one more picot over here. If you notice over here, I'll show you it. This bead over here is only connected to this pink C bead and not the other side. We need it to connect to the whole of the two sides. So my thread will go through this way in the next pink C bead so that it forms or it joins together. pull tight. Now my thread is coming out of this pink seed bead. I need to go to that brown seed bead all over again. So I will go through the four seed beads in order to come out of the next or that same brown seed bead that I was coming out of. So these two pink seed beads the next pink seed bead and the brown seed bead as well. I'm coming out of this brown seed bead so my next job is to pick up three more pink seed beads to form a square over here. So when I have done that I will go through this brown seed bead over here. I'm coming out of the top brown seed bead 
I will go through the next brown seed bead just on top of the picot of the three whites. I'll go directly into the brown seed bead and also the whole of the brown seed beads in a circle and again come out of the same brown seed bead. So I'll pull this tight. I'll go through the whites, two of the whites. I'll come out of the same brown seed bead. Now, after forming this, I need to come out of this top left pink seed bead of my next component or the next set. So I will come out of this pink seed bead. I will come out of this pink seed bead. And the next pink seed bead in this way so what we actually did was I'll tell you right now we were coming out of this brown seed bead we picked up three three pink seed beads and went through this brown seed bead I just went through the white seed beads came out of the brown seed bead the pink seed bead and also the pink seed bead so here we just formed one step over here so this part is done we will do one and two more parts and then the peacoat so I will be coming I'm coming out of this pink seed bead so what I will do is I'll pick up a brown seed bead a pink seed bead and again a brown seed bead at this point I will go through this pink seed bead that is the lower right handed lower right handed seed bead of my second set of the first row okay so I'll go through in this way the idea is we need to go through all of the pink seed beads and come out of this pink seed bead so I'll go through the pink seed bead and also the next two in a circle and also this pink seed bead over here okay right again just like here we have to come out of the same brown seed bead we will always be coming out of a brown seed bead if you remember here also after forming going through the whole of the pink four pink seed beads we came out of the brown seed bead over here again we, are, we have to come out of the brown seed bead over here as well so after coming out of the brown seed beads I will be picking up three of my pink seed beads if you remember in the first set here we had picked up three pink seed beads over here and we had gone down through the brown seed bead over here but if, we, but if we focus here, we have a brown seed bead here, but we don't want to go there. We will be picking up three pink seed beads and my thread is coming out of this way. I will go through this pink seed bead from a downward to upward motion. So that I now have formed one more set of four pink seed beads. This step is easy. We just picked up three more beads and came out of this pink seed bead. Now. I need to come out of the top left pink seed bead in order to do my next set. Yeah. You need to understand the stitch before you do it. Now, oops. I'm coming out of the left side, left top side of my pink seed bead. What I will do is I'll always pick up a brown seed bead, a pink seed bead and a brown seed bead and this time again I have to go through the top right, sorry, the lower right pink seed bead of the last row, okay, of the third row of the last pink seed bead. So I will go through this pink seed bead. So here we will go through the pink seed bead and also form a circle over here and come out of the um, brown seed bead that we just added. Let me show you how it looks first. 
We are just repeating the second step that I showed you. So, see, again we formed a ring. We'll go through the pink seed beads and come out of this brown seed bead again. Let me just hold the work and do it. The brown, the pink and the brown. Yeah. Just drop them down. I'm coming out of this brown seed bead. So I'll pick up three of my pinks and then go through this pink seed bead and then downward to upward motion in this way. And when I pull, again I have found the four beads of my next setup. I will now come out of this pink seed bead and I'll pick up a brown, three of my whites for the pink coat over here. I'll drop it down. If you notice again, all my brown seed beads are only connected to the one side of the pink seed beads so i'll just leave the three pink seed beads i'll go through the brown and onto the other side the two pink seed beads so that the brown joins in between the two pink seed beads and not just one side i'll do the same thing that i did in the first step i'll just come out of the brown seed bead and the next two pink seed beads so that forms into a beautiful connection. I'll again go through the brown seed bead and the pink seed bead. Done! I have just completed two sets of the pondo stitch. I'll show you just one more time. So make sure that you pay attention. I'm coming out of this bead. I will pick up a brown seed bead, a pink seed bead, and a brown seed bead and three of my white seed beads to form the pink coat. I'll drop them down to the end of my thread. Leaving the three white seed beads, I will go only through the brown, the pink and the brown. Uh, just pull. Okay, done. Now that I'm coming out of the brown seed bead, I need to join it to the other side here so I will form a ring over here. Let me show you. My brown seed bead is here. I'm coming out of this brown seed bead. I need to connect it to the other side because it's only connected to one side. So I'll form a ring. One. Two. Three, four, and also the same brown seed bead. Okay, in this way, I'll just pick up three more pink seed beads because we are here. Instead of going through the pink, we'll go through the brown and all the three seed beads, three white seed beads. Okay. And the brown seed bead. So we are connected to two sides of the pink seed bead. I'll go through the pink seed bead here and also the top left pink seed bead. Okay? I'm coming out of this pink seed bead. I'll pick up a brown, a pink, and a brown. And I'll go through this pink seed bead in this way. Then I'll go through the four beads and I'll come out of the same brown seed bead that's on the side. I'm coming out of the brown seed bead. I'll pick up three of my pinks. 
just because we're not here we are on the second step I'll go through only the pink seed bead pull my work and also the next pink seed bead on top of it to form my next set I'll pick up a brown and a pink and a brown I'll go through this bead I'll go through all of the four pink seed beads, only the pinks, so that I'll come out of the brown, of the same brown that we added. We are coming out of the brown seed bead. I'll pick up three more pink seed beads and go through and downward to upward motion into the pink seed bead. We have found this, so I'll come out of the next pink seed bead. I'll pick up brown seed bead, four of my whites, sorry, three of my whites to form the peak coat. I'll drop them down. Leaving the three white seed beads, I'll go through the brown and connect them together. I'm only connecting the brown seed beads to the two sides of the pink seed beads. At this point here, I'll only go through the pink, one pink seed bead. So here. In this way, you have to continue doing the pondo stitch. Always remember, these are the basic stitches. You have to come out of this pink seed bead when you're coming down, joining the four. Only one seed bead, not two. At this point here, you are going to pick up a brown, a pink and a brown and also three of your white seed beads. Just go through, leave the white seed beads and go through the brown, the pink and the brown. If you notice your thread will be only connected to this side. So we need to join it to the other side as well. So we will be going through in this direction. We need to come out the top pink seed bead. So in this way, you're going to continue doing your pondo stitch. So when you're done using the pondo stitch, what we will be doing is we will be we I will show you how to join in the and join in together to uh, clasp. Okay, just give me a second, guys. I'm just threading on my needle. can't see yeah okay now how to join in the bracelet into a clasp if you notice my box clasp um, has two jump rings attached to each side so just because here I dealt with the 11 o seed beads I will just picking up my 11 o um, silver lined golden seed beads my thread is coming out of this this blue seed bead. I'll pick up a golden seed bead. Two of my golden, sorry. I'll go through one jump ring and two golden seed beads. And I'll go through that same brown seed bead and pull. Just reinforce the whole thing two to three times because we are dealing with single thread over here. One more time. I'm just reinforcing my work, guys. Okay, now that I have done it three times, I need to come out of this side, okay, this side of my brown seed bead. So through the beads, I'll go through some of the beads.
I need to come out of the other side. So I'm just going through some of the beads. Nothing much to do. Just the same thing. Now I'm coming out of this this blue seed bead. I'll pick up two of my golden seed beads, go through the jump ring of the next side, two golden seed beads, and through the same blue seed bead. Only the blue seed bead. Because of multiple thread passes, my beads have become really tight. The holes are filled. Never mind. I just have to do what I have to do. So I'm just reinforcing my whole thing. I hope it just goes in. Just one more time. Doesn't want to, so I'll go through the other pink or the other or the blue seed beads. Oh, I went out of camera focus. I'm sorry. Again. I will be just reinforcing my whole thing. Do it a few times because you want your piece to be tight enough and not just breaking out. At this point, I will be tying my knots. Just go through some of the beads. done now. And through these beads. See? It's now attached. I'll do the same thing to the other side. I'll thread in my needle. There. Let's thread it on. I will do the same thing to the other side of my box clasp. My thread is coming out of here. So I'll pick up two golden seed beads, go through one side or one jump ring of my clasp, drop it down. I'll pick up two more golden seed beads and go through that same blue seed bead. Wait a second, I'll just keep it aside and I'll show you. Oh, right. Just going through the beads two to three more times so that it is reinforced and not just easily breakable. Go through the same beads. at this point I need to come out of here onto the other side here I'll repeat the same thing over here 
I'll pick up two more golden seed beads. Go through the jump ring. Two more golden seed beads. And through that same blue seed bead. Pull tight. Reinforce your work. A few more times. Yeah. Tie a knot. Something just happened. What happened? I don't know. Okay. Just pull tight. Yeah. I caught a knot on my thread. Right here. See? A knot. So now my bracelet is done. I've just attached a clasp to both sides. Before cutting off my thread, I would like to reinforce it just a few more times. So I'll show you how it looks on your wrist. Yeah, beautiful. And after the clasp is attached, no, I'm not able to wear it all by myself. Anyways, so this is how you do your pondo stitch bracelet. I hope you understood what I taught you and um, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment guys. I really need your comment. And if possible, if you like my videos, then please subscribe to my channel for updates on videos. Well, that was it for today. On the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to use colors. I mean three different colors or two different colors in the Pondo stitch for the main colored for the main colors and the outside colors and the middle colors are going to be the same but on the out, but on the um, inside colors of the main color we will be using two or three different colors to make the bracelet so that was all for now guys if you like the video then please do subscribe to my channel that's all thanks for watching bye